Hey, come on. She's got a big head. She's got a big head. This is That's why we don't have a medical job. Hey, go slide, slide, slide. There you go. Okay, you can Get your hand out of his arms. Great! Great! Look at that. No, no, bro. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stay in the it's going to hurt. Stand up. Uh, one arm at a time. No, I will okay. Watch, them. ladies. Howdy y'all, welcome back to another episode of Regeneration TV. As you saw previously, we do initiation night pretty seriously. What do you think about initiation night? Uh, I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna welcome the new members into our group and we're gonna have a fun time playing a bunch of games. Absolutely, and the way we do it, initiation night, we like to do it at the beach. As you can tell, we're little sea creatures. I love the water, even though it's cold. We're just gonna jump in. It's cold. Uh, it's real cold. But keep tuning in to see what is up and what are what games we're playing and what small words we're having. All right. What is up guys? We are finally at the spot, Carmel Beach. It's a beautiful sunset. Oh. And we're waiting on about 10 more people to make a party. Like Jesse said, we have a lot of fun games planned, a lot of events and a lot of little presentations for our new recruits, making it into our youth class, graduating and finally making it into high school. But other than that, let's see what we get into. All right, guys, as you can see, a fog is rolling in. It looks nasty. I hope it doesn't rain, but we're still going to be out here. I don't know whose crazy idea it is to stay out here during a fog, but hopefully, it's not. Too bad. We have our fantastic Kimberly. Say what's up to you two. Hi. <laughs> it's a little cold over here, as you can tell. It's a little cold. We're having fun. What are you doing? Trying to take a picture of the sunset. Can't you see the sunset? <laughs> oh yeah. It's beautiful. I know. It's it's going down right now. Ah, ah, there's so much water. I'm trying to make it. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, I got wet.
Abigail, we want to see your beautiful face. We want to see your beautiful face. You have to get closer though. Never mind. games and you make it Why are you crying? Because uh, I got sand in my pants. Oh. <laughs> Say Josue right over! I like you Well then you're high. Alright guys, what are we doing? I have no idea. Oh. Carla, what are we doing? Yeah. We're gonna win! What, what are we playing? Oh, I don't really know. <laughs> Red Rover? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, me too. Huh. <laughs> they know how to play. We know how to play. Okay, Carla's gonna call it out first. Go ahead, Carla. Okay, okay. Red Rover, Red Rover said, who you right over? <laughs> Jacket's coming up! Jacket's coming up! Go April! Go April! 
Hey, she broke it! She broke it! <laughs> Carla! Everybody's picking on you! I don't watch on my team. Wow! That's what you get. It was a little girl. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Do I make it wide or do I make it deep? Deep? Ow. Who bought it? 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 Who bought Oh, standing! Oh, standing! You can't stand. Let's go! You're just stalling! Four shovels down for our. The name of the two shovels. All of ours broke. Hurry up, guys! Hurry up! Hurry up! You, guys, all, Jesse, you're not helping. Can use their hands. You can use your hands. Now you tell me. Come on, Kai's not that tall. Dig deep. Standing up. What? Everybody's what? digging. Josh, you can't use that one. There's no way you know that. No, That's a lie. So, 
basically, you guys are all cheaters. No, that's all right. Yes, so no one won. No one won this. This is exactly what you guys are trying to do. Look, you don't. No. No. Don't lie. Robert, we've never been this close. No. Kimbo, is it good? Is it good? Pretty amazing. It disappeared. It must be good. <laughs> Look at the camera. Holding. Look at the camera and indulge. Hey, thank you, Dan. All right. Look, I didn't have to make it. <laughs> and I don't know if Maddie has some words before we get started. Um, so I asked a couple people um, to write a little bio about the um, the girls and Nathan. Um, so no, he's not speaking. It's about Nathan. What are you doing? I don't want to speak about him. I don't know if he's asleep. Okay, so he's definitely asleep. Ty, you want to go first? Oh, absolutely. Go ahead, Kimbo. Take that camera. <laughs> Let me stand. <laughs> uh, coming to you live, guys. Subscribe. But other than that, um, Mari asked me to do a bio about a special somebody. She's close to my heart. She's like a sister to me. Uh, I've known her since she was uh, yeah, big. Like, I carried her. Uh, <laughs> you carried her? I, I like, <laughs> <laughs> Island, uh, what to say about Island off the dome, man? I didn't have to write it down, it's right here in the heart. Oh, <laughs> well, I know she is very active in her, was very active in her school with sports and other stuff, and also she's very enthusiastic in everything she does, and she has a, a little feisty attitude that can never be stopped. Um, other than that, we're so lucky to have you not only in our church but in our youth group now that you're in our uh, young, adult. young adults class not preteens <laughs> young <laughs> <laughs> now that you're in our young adults class and we can't wait until you use those gifts that or those little characteristics that god has given you and put it to the test in our youth group uh, i'm sure that you guys know that us old heads we're on our way out 
<laughs> and you guys are laying it down. And I can't wait to see you, Island, lead the group as well. Okay? Round of applause to Island! Yeah. Nathan. Alright, cool. Oh, he's awake. <laughs> Alright, so like uh, Josh said, um, we were asked to write a bio about Nathan. So what I decided to say is I'm going to call him my little shark bait. <laughs> what? Right. what? Shark bait to me. Um, what, <laughs> what I know about Nathan is that he's a Fortnite god. <laughs> <All right. laughs> he's a beast. Aww. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like, what? <laughs> he's saying, call me a beast. He's a Fortnite god. Um, he's very good at the game. And, uh, you know, not a lot of young boys at his age um, have the type of faith that he has. And I really see that in him. Not, not, not the way that he talks, but the way that he acts. You know, and, and it's, really, uh, it's really great to see that. Um, starting at a young age because then when he gets older, you know, like, like me and Robert, <laughs> he's going to be such a great leader and I can't wait to see that to come to pass. I know he's active and um, in sports wise and in video game wise. So um, he's also a very good ladies man, I heard. He's got all the ladies. I know Frankie was telling me about all this stuff. <laughs> but anyways, um, Nathan's gonna be joining our youth group, and I'm very uh, proud to uh, to see what he becomes. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Just some idea as to the hold that Julia has on all of our hearts. Ooh, double chin. <laughs> Many of us have had the privilege to witness the growth in Julia, not only in maturity and height, but also in spiritual growth. <laughs> In just a couple years, Julia has become an essential part, essential part of our worship ministry. For those of you who didn't get a chance to meet Julia as a little girl, she was pretty shy, but boy oh boy, did she become fearless when she was with Daisy, Abigail, or Eileen. They were a handful, and that hasn't changed still. As a little girl, Julia, who I thought was actually Daisy's twin, because they were the same height <laughs> for so long, um, <laughs> would go up to sing specials with Eileen and Abigail. Uh, they three would hold hands and sing their little hearts out, sometimes forced by their parents, other times out of their own desire. Go get it. <laughs> little did we know that God was already steering and developing her gifts to lead worship. She was a small figure, but boy, did, she, did God bless her with a powerful voice. If you follow Julia, you know she loves a lot. She loves Wingstop. She loves beach days. She loves the least of these. Yup, even the least, least, least of these, the 49ers. <laughs> and she loves Jesus. After accepting Jesus into her life, Julia joined the Regen leadership team as our creative arts director. Under her direction, we've had powerful encounters with God through worship nights, plays, and skits. If you don't already know her, get to know her. She's worth knowing and loving. And here's to a lifetime with you, girl. Met. So young and pure, everywhere you go, you're sure to make a good first impression. Karime, so loyal and modest, the selfish child of God, even when life is at odds, you stand up and shake it off. A bright star in the daylight, always smiling, because you, you're not the type to waste time. You don't give up, you hold up, even if life is rough, so fierce and sassy, but because even in the bluff, you stand tough. Karime. <laughs> No dejas que nadie te lastime, tan sublime, inmovible, igual, también sensible. Siempre con una sonrisa, si es tu autoestima, esa es mi amiga, su ser Karime Mena. Alright guys, those are all the um, Shout. initiation people. Graduates, graduates, sorry. First time we've ever done this, so I don't even know what, what I'm doing. But uh, I guess uh, what you guys should know is what you're getting into. Since most of you never had the chance to say yes or no, we just grabbed you and said you're in. Which is kind of what we're going to do tonight. So we're going to have you come up. I have a sword. We're going to... Knight. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
I, can, I was just gonna say knight you, but yeah, use a stick. Use a stick. stick. You're in. Two up for 13 seconds. <laughs> nah, that's too. That was too cheesy, old fashioned. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, tonight we're gonna initiate you. I have some notes. Give me a sec. Um, so there's some criteria to being part of the youth ministry. A friend of mine told me this. I didn't even know it. But the only criteria is is that one that you're young, and number two that you're good looking. So a few of you got in. We didn't even. I don't know how you made it, but you're in. So uh, the point of tonight is to really just welcome you. Um, so we got Nathan, Eileen, which has already been part. Um, yeah. Abigail is no, no. not yet, darn it. Thank you. Nathan, Eileen, Julia, Karime. So uh, Nathan is the only one who hasn't been a part of. Karime, uh, Julia, Eileen. Sorry. So they've been a part, so they know, but they're they're moving up. But uh, Nathan's the only one who's not ever been a part. So he's he's been uh, Samuel and JC's prodigy for some time now so they've been working him. Please, Jesus. so he's going to be joining us and uh, tonight <laughs> is just to welcome him in into everything so uh, you know the team looks forward to it um, and then Julia, Julia has already been in the young adults she kind of moves around like fish wherever <laughs> Julia, Karime and Eileen are moving up out of high school so they're all done with high school. Uh, they're out of that stage. Although the same stuff you deal with tends to move on through college, it's, you know, you're still gonna have peer pressure. You're still gonna get weird guys chasing you. And, uh, lots of stuff still. But you guys are moving out of the high school class and now moving into the young adults college, which is really no different, but it's, in our eyes, it's somewhat different. It's cooler, sort of. Um, but like I said, I want you to know what you're getting into. Um, you're, what are you really joining? And I guess, uh, you know, well, I think Madi got the idea was, you know, fraternities when, uh, when you, I've never been in one, so I have no idea. But I did a little research at one time that when you go into fraternities, you get they jump you in, kind of like a gang. And that's what we were hoping to do as we tied you up and threw you in the... Oh, they smacked you or something. They, no, when we tie you up through you in the sh in the van, and uh, you know we just kind of kicked you a little as you went in. So that was that was us kidnapping you, kind of like the fraternity. But you get actually the fraternity is like a brotherhood, and it's a lifelong thing. They actually look after you through college. They look after you through even the rest of your life. And um, I, yeah, I don't know. Anyone ever been to one of those? Me. Nobody. Okay. Well, the difference, I believe, between that and something like us uh, is we're a church, and it, it actually should be a bond that's even tighter than that. It should be. And uh, that's kind of the goal is now Nathan is going to be part of our group, is that our, our job is to look out for him like we would one another. And um, I'd like to say that you're going to be joining an awesome group with you know, we're all going to love you like never before. But uh, the news is we got problems just like everybody else. You know, we got, you know we're, we're, we're imperfect. We're a group who's imperfect. But the thing that, that is different than all others is that we have a common goal. And the goal is we're trying to grow in Jesus all together. And that's why we're weird and we sing songs out on the beach and everybody's looking at us like we're crazy. And, uh, you know, we do things that some people wouldn't normally, not because we're trying to be some sorority group, but uh, we, we believe that as young people, we're God's called us to serve Him at a young age, very young. And Eileen started every, man, I don't know if she ever went out and you know was crazy doing drugs or anything, so she's been she was. good, she better not. She's been good from the get-go, so she's gonna be part, she's gonna be, you know, I, I see Eileen as gonna be a great leader um, she's on her way to be, um, and, and all of you guys to do that. And this, this is, 
This group, this young adult, youth and young adults group, Regeneration, our main goal is to help the people around us, the people that come to church, is we, we as, as, as a group, want to see people come to know Jesus, be regenerated by the Holy Spirit to find that new life, which we believe we have in Him. And that's really our one goal. So when you guys join the group, we hope, our, our goal as leaders is we want to we want to serve you and we want to help you become what God designed you to be. And, uh, you know, that's, that's really our goal. Um, and a lot of you guys, you know, we don't see you too often. Um, and we don't have a lot of, you know, not as close as it I guess should be, but that's really the goal. And like I said, you know, we ain't no, I ain't going to act like we're all perfect group and everybody loves each other. Like we're all, we're trying. We certainly are. We need some work. God help us, but uh, help us twice. But you know He's. Um, but I believe that's what God's called us to be. It's not not just sorority, not just like oh we just hang out at the beach. And, you know He's called us to actually grow in our faith and to stretch out and help people <laughs> come to know Jesus. And we're trying to do that best we can. And as as a group with the regeneration, we want to we want to see you grow and become all that God designed you to be. And uh, that's really our call. Uh, you know, it started about nine years ago. I had no idea what I'm doing. I still am not sure what I'm doing. I just, you know, you can talk to the team. You know, we just go up there and we just say, okay, look, what are we going to do? Let's figure this out. Thank God I got some people around me that are pretty smart. You know, they got some he good heads on their shoulders. And we need more help. But um, tonight, we just want to welcome Nathan into the team to know that he's not, we, we, I, we don't hope him just to be another body in the group, but we hope that he's an essential component that helps us grow and helps us become all that God designed us to be. I believe every one of you here is for a purpose. You could have been anywhere else. I mean, you could have been anywhere else. Maybe we don't think so, and the same for me. I don't know why God placed me here, you know, why I was born in this particular place, going to that particular church. I have no idea, but you know, God calls us to do the very best wherever He places us, and that's what we aim to do. And as leaders, we want to help you. We want to help you become awesome. You know, surpass every us. So uh, I don't know. Are we supposed to beat him up or something? Or nah, he's, he's sick. He's sick. You know what time it is? Time to go hit that subscribe button. Three, two, one. Hit it. Thank you for joining us at our beach trip today. It was really fun. Great initiation for everybody that joined up and me. Tune in next time for more fun and games. And don't forget to have a regenerated week. And leave a like and leave a comment. Psych! Peace out, guys.